Oh, hello, almost didn't see you there. All right, back again with another deck opening. And let's see what we find today. If this thing will ever work its way out. Two hours later. There we go. All right, Dis, Logos, and Sanctum. It's Hill, Trash Plains Runaway. <laughs> That's a fun name. I really like that one. All right, and if you know anyone with the last name Hill, they might be interested in this deck. Here we go. Starting right off with Sanctum, Protect the Weak, it's an upgrade. And whenever you play it, creature gets plus one armor and gains taunt. Staunch Knight, four power, two armor. Gets plus two power while it's on the flank. Two of those, great card to have. Raiding Knight, four power, two armor. Whenever you play it, you capture an amber. Two of those as well, cool. Protectrix, excellent card. Five power, whenever you reap, you fully heal a creature. If you do, that creature cannot be dealt damage for the remainder of the turn. <laughs> we have two of those as well. Really good, okay, Bulwark, four power, two armor. Each of Bulwark's neighbors gets plus two armor. I swear to God, there's two of these. Okay, <laughs> I would have loved to have two, but that was a little kooky. All right, Sigil of the Brotherhood. It's an artifact, Omni. You sacrifice it for the main turn. You may use friendly Sanctum creatures, pretty cool. Terms of Redress, Amber, whenever you play it, choose a friendly creature to capture two Amber. And I literally just read this the other day. Thou shalt wear pants. That's, a, that's an odd one. Hey, we have two of those. Shield of Justice. One amber whenever you play it for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. Okay, we are now on to Logos. It's an upgrade. Transposition Sandals. Amber whenever you play it, this creature gains action. Swap this creature with another friendly creature in the battle line. You may use that creature, uh, that other creature, this turn. So, I've had people ask me about this in the past. This is just a way to reuse another creature from whatever house. That's all it is. You're just being able to swap and then use that creature. Ganymede Archivist. Three power. Whenever he reaps, archive a card. Dr. Escoterra. Four power. Gain one amber for each four ski your opponent has. Dexter. Three power. Whenever you play him, capture an amber. Whenever he's destroyed, you have to put him on top of your deck. Ooh, not that many creatures. Mobius Scroll. Artifact. As an action, you archive both Mobius Scroll and then two cards from your hand. Wild Wormhole. Amber, whenever you play it, play the top card of your deck. Twin Bolt Emission. One Amber, whenever you play it, deal two damage to a creature and deal two to a different creature. Two of those. Lab Work. Amber, whenever you play it, archive a card. This deck is pretty heavy in Amber Generation. Interdimensional Graft. Amber, whenever you play it, if an opponent forges a key on their next turn, they must give you the remaining Amber. Effervescent Principle. I'm pretty sure this is the last card in Logos. I don't think I've seen a card beyond that. Each player loses half of their Amber. Rounding down loss. Gain a chain. Oh, there is one more, and of course it's one I hate even more than that card. Bouncing Death Quark. Destroy an enemy creature and a friendly creature. You may repeat this effect as many times as you like, as long as it's possible to repeat the entire effect. Ugh, what an awful card in this deck. Hey, but our very next card, which is going to be in this, is the Terror. It's five power. If your opponent has no amber, you gain two. Sweet card, especially if you get multiples of them. But we only have one. Ember Imp, two power. Your opponent cannot play more than two cards each turn. Hey, we have two of those. Charette, four power, play, capture three amber. Uh-oh, that's the end of our creatures? Oh man, okay, this is a shame because that Sanctum started off really good creature-wise. All right, and we have key to this, it's an artifact. Omni, sacrifice it, destroy each creature. Pandemonium, an amber whenever you play it, each undamaged creature captures one from its opponent. And unfortunately, we're not gonna get to use too much of it because we are so light on creatures. Mind Barb, Amber, whenever you play it, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Two of those. And what is this? Hecatomb. Amber, whenever you play it, destroy each disc creature. Each player gains one Amber for each creature they control that was destroyed this way. Huh. That is not so good in here. <laughs> Gateway to disc. Destroy each creature, gain three chains. Fear, return enemy creature to its owner's hand. And we're ending it off with Arise. Choose a house, return each creature of that house from your discard pile to your hand, gain one chain. You know, this is a shame. This is an example of just a, in my opinion, a bad deck. It's usable, you can play it. This is great to, for maybe some events where, uh, what's the name of them? It's where you're gonna be bidding chains against each other. You play three, best of three, you'd swap decks for game two, and if it just happens to the same deck one, uh, twice you have to bid chains on the third. This one, 
you know, it's just not that great. So you're hoping to maybe get a win <laughs> the first time just by having a little bit more experience of what this deck does. And then, you know, win their first game if you get lucky. Win with your opponent's deck on the second game. Be happy with that. Worst case scenario, really have to bid on your opponent's uh, second, or your bid on their deck. Yeah, I'm not feeling this deck at all. Uh, we're going to have to give this a really low score, which is a shame. Just a shame, because I really did like these creatures. I like having two protectresses. I like these staunch knights. It's just, it's not powerful enough. There's nothing, there's no huge creature. Look at these. I mean, these are all four power besides Protectrix. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to drop this down a couple notches. It does have decent amber generation, which I know a lot. some people are really into. Um, I mean, it needs specific cards, in my opinion, for amber generation to be, you know, like, okay, you know, that's going to make this deck super good. Uh, we're going to drop this thing. Let's go with... All right. You guys are going to hate me for this one, but I honestly believe this. D. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.